Welcome to another Wall Brothers Review. I'm Davis, this is my brother Daniel. Today we are doing part two of our AnimationLegends.com He-Man cartoon cells. We were so impressed with the ones that we opened on the previous episode, we, we vowed that if it was a successful opening, we would go ahead and reorder, and we did immediately after the episode ended, as promised. They came four days later, so this is two. This is the one we opened on the previous episode. We'll go ahead and set these over here. Um, the last one, just a quick recap, we got He-Man, Man-at-Arms, Ram Man, Beast Man, Beast Man, the Purple Panther. We got a swimming He Man, which was a good close up shot. It was. <laughs> it was. Um, obviously, the one we're missing still is Skeletor. Yeah. And I, th I think my brother made a good point when we were finished last time. Those are probably the ones that went home with folks even back then when they were done with them. Because let's be honest, Skeletor is probably the most popular and highly collectible of any of the stuff. Yeah. Now I'm thinking probably any any shot from the opening scene that is replayed <laughs> in E-Man history in the cartoons, those are probably all gone. But probably on somebody's wall somewhere that, yeah. that matters more than we do. That would be great to get a Skeletor, and it would be great to get any piece of an opening scene, right? And that, would be, that would be awesome, so. Yeah, or a Cringer, or a Tila, or somebody along those lines. Somebody different than what we got last time. Right, King, anybody, yeah. yeah. So we're keeping our fingers crossed. And uh, let's let's dig in. Let's do it. Let's see what we got. All right. These are really well packaged. The anticipation is fantastic. <laughs> I hope it'll last. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. Getting a little better at. Uh, oh, at we got primaries. green instead of blue. We Last just had a, well, we got a man at arms there. Too. Right off the bat. Right at the top. We have man at arms. So that's awesome. Yes. Uh, and again, you can see the layout of the one that was on top of it, around him, the, the echo of the previous mm -hmm. cell. And all the scratches of where they're moving it around, and yeah, that's, that's, that's super cool. Yeah, it's got that feel that it was part of something, right? And that's what, that's what you want when you're doing this. This is our youth. This is what we watched on the TV. And so it's it's cool to see something that's obviously you don't you know it's not pristine. This was part of the production. What what does that say in the what's written on there on the top? Oh, the top. I'm sorry. M U L. Okay, yeah, it's just code. All right. All right. So at some point, we're hoping to crack that code. I'm sure somebody at some point, if anybody ever watches this, so it'll, it'll get out there that we need to know that stuff, and some <laughs> some expert will fill us in. That seems to happen more often than not on the. I thought it said the word may, that's why I was like, it looks like an NA4. Oh, oh, there's a He-Man driving his sword. Right on. So there you go. He-Man driving his sword into something. <laughs> now, this could be used many times over and over. Right, and we, we know probably from the show this isn't going to be into anybody. This will be into you know, an inanimate object. However, when we frame these up, we can do... Just about anything we want to with this. That's it. Oh, that's true. Right? Yeah, that's fantastic. I really, really, I'm, that's that's really cool. Great detail. And again, nothing is really flaked off of these. They're just like they were back when they used them. Yeah. It, you know, if, if they were damaged or there was pieces missing and flaking, it just it would take it would detract so much from them. I'm yeah. thinking they probably go through these at least now that we've gone into we're in our second box, and they really do scrub them before they send them out. They make sure that you're only getting stuff that's Right, not I would, money. I would think that they would want to reuse these during shooting as well, so they'd try to keep them as pristine as possible. That's so a good the, point. So the last time they left them was probably as pristine <laughs> as they could be so they could reuse it, right? Yeah, that's true. Handling them with care on set. Uh oh, oh I wow. I don't know who that is, but we got He-Man on the rope underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> so here is, uh, right now, an unknown villain. By the time this airs, my brother will have looked this up and you will know who this is along the bottom of the yeah, screen. It's going to probably be right down there. Yeah, it'll be right down at the bottom. I'm saying Claw Man. I'm not sure. Filmation <laughs> is pretty straightforward and He-Man, they were pretty straightforward with their naming conventions and such. So, uh, yeah, Claw Man, the lobster, I don't... Still, that is so cool. It really is. Okay. And that is a beautiful... And there it is. That is, that is a great... From the previous box we opened, we got a couple of these as well. 
And I'm thinking we're going to put these together, all three of them, right? And see if we can do a full He-Man climbing the rope. Yeah, we'll see if we can put it together. Yeah. yeah, that would be awesome to have framed. Just lay them on top of each other. Yeah, or even in a three-piece, like climbing, 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 like next to each yeah. other, like something, right? Yes. That's awesome. It, it's so crazy to, to look at that and get that feeling in your stomach from when you were, you know, a kid watching this because it's that's that's how I remember He-Man. Not so much the figure anymore, right? Right, right. It's that, and to see it in your hands like this is. And, and so you have that nostalgia of looking at it and remembering the cartoon in your childhood, but you also are seeing these scratches, the paint, and the things that went into the artwork that that is that is real and right in front of you. And it makes it a one of a kind. Yes, yeah, the combination of those that is. It's aw That's great. It's awesome. Oh, here he is again. Bigger and better. <laughs> Bigger and better. New and improved. Man at arms. Yeah. And he's got some echoing from a previous cell yeah, over things top. laying on him where he's Show the animation. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. That's, yes. yeah. That's super cool. <laughs> oh! Oh my goodness. Hey, this is a... Uh-oh. We got a doopy, maybe. We got the Purple Panther again. <laughs> Where's our Skeletor? Right? We need someone to wrap this Skeletor. thing. <laughs> the, the infamous Purple Panther. Oh, we need a Cringer as well. Yes. Or I would prefer Battle Cat. Battle Cat would be better. Yeah. And if it's while Battle Cat is talking, it'd, I'd be even. <laughs> <laughs> Come up with our own little blurb for him, right? Oh, okay, so well, what's her name? Uh, Tila. Tila. Asking you shall receive. I mentioned this one before we open it, and there she is. Her quality is not the greatest. She's got a little bit of flaking and such, yep. but with all the others being so clean, I think I think it might be cool. I think it might be because there, it was laid over other things. I think it might be on purpose that those pieces are missing. Oh, gotcha. There's going to be like it's going to show action behind it, right? Something right. going on in the scene. That's a good point. But it's clean. Yeah, that's, that's nice. For the most part. Well, <laughs> here he is again. I'm not going to lie. We could do so much with this. So much. <laughs> so much with this one. How much fun is that going to be? I can guarantee you all the stuff that we've been doing, you know, the rope we've talked about framing, this is going to get framed. Yeah. There's no question about it. And he can lift whatever we want. And it's going to be... A, Something great. Yeah. And maybe we can... You know, going along with the theme, we can make something that's easily changeable. So when people come over, maybe it's something you put in the bathroom. There'll always be, there'll always be something different. The new man's holding it. People will be going, wasn't it? <laughs> I thought it was. Well, it, now it's always been the same. That's great. All right. Oh, we've got our background shots now. Uh, the last episode, the background shots were of water. Right. Uh, it was water with an overlay over top of it. And this one is really snazzy. This is some kind of a... It's in a lab? Or? Yeah, it looks like a lab or it could be an underwater city or something. The cool thing about this piece is we're going to be able to find it right. somewhere yeah. in, in the episodes. Right. So this is something, and it's got, it's a two-parter. It's got the original over outline, it. Yeah. yeah, the outline, and then this piece behind it. And that's what we saw in the last one too. Yep. So, Seems to be a theme there. Yeah, and ultimately, it's going to be nice to have these. I think if we, you know, if we order some more, because then we can start putting the figures in into a scene to frame. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and give it the full aesthetic. And all of the things that we create in these, we can have He-Man holding it all up from the bottom. <laughs> He-Man. Okay, two left. It looks like it. Nope, another scene. We have another scene. I think that's going to end us. I think it is. And it's the same idea. It's a two-piece. And this is this one is um, the, the, the part behind it is just a bunch of green paint right. and brown paint for the color. So it's not really intricate at all. It just fills in around the, uh, the top part. But I like the way they presented this one. Right. This one's ready to go. We don't have to put anything together on it. We can just insert characters. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. There's no thought here yeah. for us. 
This is exactly, and it, it looks exactly probably like it was in the show. This probably hasn't been touched right. since they used it. Looks it. Like, looks like the tape is folded over, keeping yeah. it together. They're like... So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this has been this way since it was originally Absolutely. filmed. So that's awesome. Yeah, it is. Well, beforehand, we had discussed, Daniel and I, if, if, if we feel this was another solid box, do we do one more? You know? And of course, the big part was, if we didn't get a Skeletor, do we press our luck to get that Skeletor? <laughs> Where is Skeletor? <laughs> Daniel, what do you think? Do we go one more round? We have to go one more round. One we, more round. We have to try for Skeletor. All right, I agree. I love doing this. I, this feels like Christmas. It's crazy. It's been a long time since I felt like a little kid opening a, a present, but this, that's exactly what this feels like. So, folks, stay tuned for episode three of the, of the He-Man Cells, right? Animationlegends.com. Animation All right. See you guys soon. <laughs>